welcome to our lesson we are focusing on systems technology and we will be looking at hardware now in this hardware we are focusing on the processing of a computer now what makes or what allows a computer to process this data that we've entered into the system if you remember we looked at input devices we looked at output devices now we look at these devices that allow a computer to process data now our processing hardware we have a few hardware components that actually do this um, the first main hardware that you need to know about is a motherboard now a motherboard is a very important um, part of a computer because it acts as a housing unit for all other components now when you define a motherboard you'd say it's a main circuit board that acts as a link between components for communication so what happens is that all these other um, devices like your ram like your cpu and even your uh, input devices your mouse your keyboard are linked into this one device and that is why we say this device allows your components for communication meaning because they are all linked into this one device they are able to communicate with one another now what do you find on your motherboard remember we find the CPU now the CPU is the brain why are we saying it is the brain it's the brain of the computer because it's responsible for processing data into information if you remember our information processing cycle we have input we have processing we have output as well as communication now this is a very important step because you cannot have information if your data is not processed so that is why your CPU would be the brain because it needs to process this data so that you can have information now again just to look at the CPU you've got different types of CPUs because of the different types of computers we have so if you are using your computer for different purposes you'd obviously get different CPUs because your CPU would have to perform at a certain level in order to achieve what you want to get another uh, processing device would be your memory right your memory is actually there to store your data and programs that are being processed now if you remember what I said I said memory is temporary it means that it only works when your computer is switched on so while you're busy typing while your marks are being processed memory is in action so it acts as a storage while your programs are being processed by what by this CPU and in terms of the RAM again you get different sizes of the RAM for obviously different computers so that it can help your remember your RAM would obviously assist your CPU in order to process by doing what by storing these programs temporarily while the RAM is I mean while the CPU is processing you also have the ROM but the ROM is part of memory the difference is that your ROM is more permanent because it stores your instructions that tell your computer when to switch on and when to switch off right so that's basically the difference in terms of the processing uh, of your computer where you need to know whether you have a motherboard with a specific uh, CPU that can process a specific amount of data as well as a specific um, RAM that can process or assist your CPU in terms of processing a specific amount of data and that is it for our lesson for today and thank you see you next time Thank you.